Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we got a bunch of updates. Uh, lots of stuff to show you. We got uh, new ECU, new harness. So, uh, yeah. So first, we I removed the stock harness. I had, the stock harness was big mess. Uh, so all the stock harness is out. Uh, I put my old block in there just to mock up. Because I wanted to make sure the new fuel tank fits. It's not here. It's getting welded. But uh, we got a new rad too. I got a smaller rad. So we can pit, pick uh, a bigger fuel tank over there. Um, but yeah. I cleaned up the the stock harness. You can see it there. It's just got... Uh, I'll show you the diagram. What, what the wiring is going to be. But uh, yeah. Let's step inside. I got everything lined up. So the ECU is here. So as you guys seen in the last video, the Proify, we took it out and uh, we got ourselves an M150. Comes in this beautiful case. Very nicely presented. This thing is tiny. I mean, look at it compared to my hand. This thing's tiny. Beautiful piece. Um, pretty simple. Comes with the USB with the software. Uh, I also got it. Uh, oh, thanks to ProSpeed for this, by the way. Got it from ProSpeed, and it's going to be with uh, Delgado, Chris Delgado's Pro Drag software on it. Um, I also got this patch harness uh, from ProSpeed too. Um, I didn't want to get rid of the stock harness for now. Uh, the stock harness has like the cam crank. Uh, it has the coolant sensor, it has the temperature gauge, uh, it has the ignition key on it. I don't want to get rid of it yet. I think later on what we'll do is we'll, we'll get a whole harness done for the chassis and the car and the engine. So for now, I figured I'll get the patch harness. Um, we cleaned up the stock harness as you've seen outside. And I'm going to be making all of these looms for these separate sensors. Um, we, I already did a bunch of it. I got these uh, two fuse boxes thanks to protuners.com. Uh, Give them a follow. They have all these OEM. Uh, let me see if I find one. They got all these OEM connectors. They're all on the stock harness, but they have all Toyota new stuff. So it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so for now, we're going to do. A new harness um, that controls all the engine stuff. So this is all mil spec, ray, uh, Tevzel wire. I love these little connectors, these DTM connectors. This is the for the TC8 for the EGTs. But yeah, so I have to wire this up, um, and I did a diagram. Hopefully you can see it's pretty small writing, but I did this diagram that, you know, it shows the whole engine harness and the transmission harness. This is what's on the original harness and uh, <clears throat> the, the length, the amperage that these devices take, like this one, for example, the radiator fan, it uses uh, 15 amps max. So I grabbed the, the length of the wire. And I broke it down to what size gauge the wire has to be. It's a little overkill. I went a little thicker. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, so you have to plan this. If, if, if you're going to do a harness from scratch, you have to lay it all out. Because what happened is when I draw it the first time, you, you sleep on it and you're like, oh, shit, I forgot that one. I have to add this one. I have to add that one. So yeah, so... I'm adding a lot of new sensors, as you can see here. So if we can start here, um, I got ambient pressure and temperature. These are going to be sitting in the engine bay, uh, ambient pressure and temperature. So these are going to just sit there kind of measuring the ambient temperature. Um, this is crankcase pressure, fuel pressure, map sensor. Uh, LTC is the Motec O2 control. 
TC8 is the EGTs, exhaust back pressure. Um, then we got, you know, the starter and the cam, the ones that are circled in blue, those are the ones on the stock harness. So I kept those on the stock harness that, you know, just the basic cam, TPS, uh, the front fuse box. So when you turn on the key, um, you know, the, the car starts. I don't have to wire up a separate switch and everything. But yeah, this is a primer pump. We're going to be adding a small primer pump because the fuel tank in the front sits lower than the, uh, than the pump. Uh, oil pressure, radiator pressure, IAT, nitrous. We're switching from a wet shot to a dry shot. So we won't be having two anymore. It'll be just one for nitrous. And then the injectors will compensate for the nitrous. Uh, what else? The 12 injectors, uh, the IGN coils. These two are going to be separate looms. So the injectors are going to go to this guy here. So that's the injector output, and this is the injector output. So that's why I separated them from the actual harness, All right? So these are separate. Uh, this is CAN, and this is the CAT5 cable. I don't know if you guys know, but Motec uses the CAT5 to communicate via the computer. It's not like a USB. What else? Uh, we got the radiator, the new one with the fan, water pump, oil tank, oil temperature, uh, CO2, that's uh, another change. We're going to be changing the boost control to CO2 and that has two mag valves, uh, two three port mag valves. That's uh, you got one that increases pressure, one that decreases. So I had to run two of them. And this is going to be for the transmission, this is another separate loom. Uh, on the transmission, I have oil pressure, charge pressure, and line pressure, oil temperature, the the dump valve, uh, trans brake. I got the laser sensor that measures the height of the car, so when it uh, wheelies, it knows. Uh, trans fan and trans brake button and stage, and then um, this is the not the nitrous pressure and the nitrous heater that's going to be inside the car. But yeah. So it's very important that if you're going to tackle this job, you want to lay everything out um, on a chart so you know how this is going to be all wired up. So I got these two relay boxes from ProTuners, like I said, 14-gauge um, wire for each fuse, uh, all going to a distribution block. This is going to have a 4-gauge coming here from the battery. This is going to be inside, by the way. So it's going to sit somewhere like this. And I'll be, I'm going to make like maybe a, a piece of aluminum where these will bolt on and sit where the stock ECU goes. Uh, but yeah, I made these looms. So this is a separate loom. This one has, uh, I have the primer pump. This is the, sorry, this is the nitrous primer pump. And then you have the, the radiator fan and the water pump. And the IAT, sorry, the the oil oil temperature, and this and that. But that's one loom. This is another loom. This is the TC8. The I got these little labels from millspecwiring.com. Very nice. So these are heat shrinks, and they come with a clear heat shrink to go outside of it. But yeah, you got all these. I still have to wire the injectors and the coils, but in the coils, but these are pretty cool. So they end up like this. See? Pretty cool. So that's this is the LTC, the, uh, the Motec O2 controller, the TC8, the EGTs, and this is the exhaust back pressure. So this loom is up here. So this is going to be separate. So you got LTC, TC8, and exhaust back pressure. Then I have uh, this one here that goes from the fuse box. That's this big one here that, that I just showed you. And then this other one, that's this guy here that controls all these sensors here, IAT, RAD. So they're all here. So I grabbed wire from millspecwiring.com too this is a 
Tepzel wire, they call it. It's or you some people call it spec 55, but very, very nice wire. I mean, look how thin it is. I don't know if you can zoom on it, but that's a four core wire. I mean, look at this thing, it's so thin. So, yeah, so I used uh, I used this double sided heat shrink. I don't know if you can see but when you heat it up there's like an inner layer that comes out maybe i'll show you here you can't really see it but yeah so now i gotta wire all these up yeah so fuel pressure uh, crankcase pressure map sensor what else we got the ambient here and then further down we have uh, what's this uh oil pressure and then iat and coolant pressure yep so i got a lot of work to do this is the sheet that came with the with the harness, with the patch harness, with this guy. So I'm gonna have to, all these empty slots, that's where all those sensors are going to go. So those sensors are not part of this guy, of the stock harness. So they're, they're going to be pinned directly to the ECU somewhere here. Yep, so pretty excited. I mean, we're switching over to a whole new ECU, so the calibration is going to be new. We're going to be using um, Chris Delgado's tune. It's called Pro Drag. This thing turns off. Yeah, we're going to be using Chris Delgado's Pro Drag and uh, his his tune. So he's my tuner. So he always tuned the car, but you know he's got his own Pro Drag. It's called uh, firmware. But yeah, we're using DTM. I love these connectors. I don't know if you've ever seen them before. Uh, DTM connectors. They have DTM. They have DTP. Look them up. These are really nice. Uh, this this type is the DT, I believe. They can. Uh, they're good for 15 amps. And then you have the this type. It's called DTM. These are thinner pins. These are good for 7.5 amps. Yeah, so for like these little sensors, the sensors don't use much, but that's why. This is 22, 22 gauge, which is pretty good. It's actually a little overkill for these little sensors. But yeah, 22 gauge. <clears throat> I used 14 gauge here. So this is this goes to the fuse and then from the fuse to the number 30 on the relay. I don't know if you guys know how a relay works, but number 30 is the power direct from the battery. 87, the top one, is what you're going to be feeding the device with. And then 85, 86, the sides are the coil, what triggers it. So typically you give ignition to 86. And then the ECU gives a ground to 85, it closes the coil, and then 30 connects to 87. Um, the middle one, 87A, that's called a, uh, a close that rest. So when the relay is not fired, you will have 30 and 87A connected. But when you fire the relay, um, it disconnects from 87A and it connects to 87. So yeah. So I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna, like I said, I'll get a small piece of aluminum. I'm gonna mount these. The ECU will sit somewhere like this. And then this will go here. Yeah, it'll go somewhere like that. And then all those little harnesses I showed you are gonna have to be pinned into the ECU here. So, yep, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, 
once I get that done, then, then we can uh, hook it up to the car. Car is a big mess. Yeah, so everything's in the box. The engine is still at Scott at Aero Machine in Texas. So I have everything in pieces here. Uh, the All the fuel lines. I'm going to be making them um, with BMRS, they're called, uh, Bill Miller something. Um, yeah, so these these are not really rated for methanol. So the fuel lines are going to be changed. And uh, we'll have to order some, some, good, some good fuel lines. But yeah. Uh, all the old stuff is out. That was my old IGN 1A harness. And if you don't believe me... This is what came out of the engine harness. All this wire, the part this piece, all this wire came out from the engine harness. And this thing has to be 8 pounds, 10 pounds of wire. Yeah, so won't be needing that anymore. Uh, what else? The turbo chilling here. Just waiting to make some boost. Intake, manifold, intake piping. Yeah, so. Showed you here already. That's the, that's the OEM harness. It's pretty clean. I went through it. I sleeved it, you know. Let me put this prop here. So, yeah, protuners.com, tuners with a Z. They have all these connectors, brand new. So I changed all the connectors. I cut the wire to make it uh, a clean cut. Uh, TPS, see, new connectors, brand new. Sleeve the wire. Uh, that's the coolant on the dash coolant sensor tundra alternator and the crank yeah so that's the new fan sorry new radiator csf it's called the king drag something uh it's very small so i'm hoping this is good enough the the fuel tank it's at uh, rene from center line it's it fills up this whole space it's six gallons of fuel now was the old one we used to have over there it was only a gallon and i had another one down here another gallon so two gallons so now we're gonna have six gallons of fuel so i'm pretty excited about that uh, what else that's about it for now so we'll finish the harness um i'll put it in the car and we'll do another video i'll show you the differences between pro fi and motec i think it's pretty interesting so stay tuned thank you